There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Your question is phrased in an unusual manner, asking if a condition which impacts health negatively is normal. I will answer the question I think you meant to ask. Instead, hypertension is not a normal condition for a healthy person to have, regardless of age. However, hypertension is a common condition, and a sign of unhealthy choices, for the majority of Americans, over the past few decades, as processed foods, and fast food places, have become more and more prevalent. Hypertension is showing up in more and more young adults. Please take steps to educate yourself on what eating healthy really means, and what the long-term consequences of not doing so are. Very few people actually know what healthy really means, or how to measure health from a dietary perspective. I know you're still really young and not aware of certain things, but one of the best lessons you can learn, when it comes to your health, is to trust nobody and stick to what decades of science has to say on the subject. Begin with this hour-long video and you'll be more educated in nutrition than most people out there. If you learn anything at all, learn to base your choices on what are known as independently reproducible peer-reviewed clinical studies. They won't be as exciting as some books or opinions out there, but they will reflect the truth. Food is medicine, preventing and treating the most dreaded diseases with diet, nutrition, facts, org. Your question is phrased in an unusual manner asking if a condition which impacts health negatively is normal. I will answer the question I think you meant to ask. Instead, hypertension is not a normal condition for a healthy person to have, regardless of age. However, hypertension is a common condition, and a sign of unhealthy choices, for the majority of Americans, over the past few decades, as processed foods, and fast food places, have become more and more prevalent. Hypertension is showing up in more and more young adults. Please take steps to educate yourself on what eating healthy really means, and what the long-term consequences of not doing so are. Very few people actually know what healthy really means, or how to measure health from a dietary perspective. I know you're still really young and not aware of certain things, but one of the best lessons you can learn, when it comes to your health, is to trust nobody, and stick to what decades of science has to say on the subject. Begin with this hour-long video and you'll be more educated in nutrition than most people out there. If you learn anything at all, learn to base your choices on what are known as independently reproducible peer-reviewed clinical studies. They won't be as exciting as some books or opinions out there, but they will reflect the truth. Food is medicine, preventing and treating the most dreaded diseases with diet, nutrition, facts, org. No, it isn't normal for anybody to have hypertension. But being obese is listed as a condition that can lead to high blood pressure C. The Mayo Clinic cites secondary hypertension. Do you care to share your blood pressure before and after treatment, and on what meds, including dosage, you're on? So I can further comment. We define treatment-resistant hypertension as one that needs at least three antihypertensive med to control it, like in my and your case. And the Dutch GP Association recommends referring such patients on to a medical specialist, usually an internist not a cardiologist, for further evaluation, among others to rule out rare, less than 5%, underlying conditions for secondary hypersecondary that if treated could either cure or make the high blood pressure a lot easier to control. You didn't mention physical exercise, which is also very useful to lower blood pressure increasing physical activity for the treatment of hypertension. A systematic review and meta-analysis found that the majority of the included RCTs reported that increased physical activity led to a decrease in systolic and diastolic blood pressure of 5 to 10 and 1 to 6 millimeters Hg, respectively so very much worthwhile to add to your lifestyle changes. From exercise and hypertension, very worth reading. Exercise lowers one's blood pressure better at a lower, 50 to 70 percent of maximum. Intensity in the Netherlands where licorice is very popular, this and drinking lots of alcohol, I guess not applicable to a 15, yo, can lead to untreatable hypertension. All the best. No, it isn't normal for anybody to have hypertension, 
but being obese is listed as a condition that can lead to high blood pressure C. The Mayo Clinic cites secondary hypertension. Do you care to share your blood pressure before and after treatment, and on what meds, including dosage, you're on? So I can further comment. We define treatment-resistant hypertension as one that needs at least three antihypertensive med to control it, like in my and your case, and the Dutch GP Association recommends referring such patients on to a medical specialist, usually an internist, not a cardiologist, for further evaluation, among others to rule out rare, less than 5%, underlying conditions for secondary hypersecondary that if treated could either cure or make the high blood pressure a lot easier to control. You didn't mention physical exercise, which is also very useful to lower blood pressure increasing physical activity for the treatment of hypertension. A systematic review and meta-analysis found that the majority of the included RCTs reported that increased physical activity led to a decrease in systolic and diastolic blood pressure of 5 to 10 and 1 to 6 millimeters Hg, respectively so very much worthwhile to add to your lifestyle changes. From exercise and hypertension, very worth reading. Exercise lowers one's blood pressure better at a lower, 50 to 70 percent of maximum intensity in the Netherlands where licorice is very popular. This and drinking lots of alcohol, I guess not applicable to a 15, yo, can lead to untreatable hypertension. All the best. I am not a doctor, but it is not normal. If you are not overweight then it is probably stress unless they diagnosed another reason for it. I can't suggest exercise for you specifically because I did not evaluate your physical capacity, history or symptoms. Never just leave your medication without your doctor knowing, but when you do the right exercise intensity, heart rate above 70% of maximum, cardio, exercise at least 3 days a week then it should decrease in time and then your doctor can reduce medication. I get results with exercise after about 3 months that the patient is on no or a third of their meds. Try to see a physical therapist with medical background to assist. In South Africa you call us biokineticists. I am not a doctor, but it is not normal. If you are not overweight then it is probably stress unless they diagnosed another reason for it. I can't suggest exercise for you specifically because I did not evaluate your physical capacity, history or symptoms. Never just leave your medication without your doctor knowing, but when you do the right exercise intensity. Heart rate above 70% of maximum, cardio, exercise at least 3 days a week then it should decrease in time and then your doctor can reduce medication. I get results with exercise after about 3 months that the patient is on no or a third of their meds. Try to see a physical therapist with medical background to assist. In South Africa you call us biokineticists. Sorry to hear that you already have hypertension at the age of 15. It isn't normal to have hypertension at any age. 15 is quite young to have it. Although it has become more common now with younger people in part due to poor diet, increasing obesity and inadequate exercise. All of these seem to have become more common over the last few decades. It sounds as if you have a good physician and are following the prescribed diet. Good for you. Continue to do what your doctor recommends. It seems to be working. Frankly. You should not take advice over the internet, including mine. Quora is one of the better places to ask for advice, but nobody here knows you like your doctor. Yes, hypertension seems rather uncommon in people your age. As with all things medical it is always best to follow your doctor's advice. I think the next step would be to find out the underlying cause. Perhaps your PCP can refer you to a specialist for further evaluation. It is always best to treat the cause rather than just the symptoms. I wish you well. Yes. Hypertension seems rather uncommon in people your age. As with all things medical it is always best to follow your doctor's advice. I think the next step would be to find out the underlying cause. Perhaps your PCP can refer you to a specialist for further evaluation. It is always best to treat the cause rather than just the symptoms. I wish you well.